Hey guys, I'm Sarah Rose. Thanks so much for tuning in to learn a little bit about me today. First off, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Born and raised there, one thing that I love is Husker football. My whole family is really close. In fact, all of my immediate family lives only about 30 minutes from each other, and that's the furthest distance we live. So we're really close, and I'm blessed in that way. One thing that we love to do together is go to Husker football games. I graduated from Texas Christian University last May with two separate degrees, one in strategic communications and the second in child development, but every single year I made it home into at least one Husker football game a season. Oh, and I miss Nebraska USA. Although I'm from Nebraska, I'm somewhat of a nomad. Like I mentioned just a minute ago, I went to school in Texas and graduated from there. While in college, though, I studied abroad in Peru. A lot of people would be shocked to learn that I actually slept in a mosquito net in the Amazon basin while studying abroad, and it was one of my favorite experiences of college. If I could give any of anyone that hasn't been to college yet advice, it would be to study abroad and take that leap of faith and adventure because I never would regret that choice. Also, I lived in Alaska for a summer working a camp for children in the foster care system who had been traumatized and then most recently I was living in Oklahoma City completing my clinical rotations but now I'm back at home with my family in Nebraska. When I was just four years old, I was hospitalized at Children's Hospital and Medical Center Omaha with ITP. Although I was just four, I don't remember a whole lot of the experience, but I do remember seeing my parents really scared. They were confused and just concerned about this diagnosis that was so foreign to them. And I had never been hospitalized, so it's a really scary environment. Thankfully, it was just an acute diagnosis and I was just there for a short time. But since that experience, I have really just taken that on and am very passionate about helping children and families that are in that same position that mine was, just scared and confused. Um, I've done that through creating over 500 handmade blankets and donating those to children who are hospitalized across the state of Nebraska. I also am studying to be a certified child life specialist where I will serve in the hospital room helping children and their families, their siblings, understand different procedures that they don't know from IVs to surgeries and diagnoses as well. I actually love working out. As a junior in college, I got certified to teach Pilates, and I did that all through college, and I'm still doing a little bit of that now. I also love working out in those cycling classes where you have to dance to the rhythm. That is way up my alley. As a health nut, I was really honored to win the swimsuit competition at Miss Nebraska USA, so follow my social media to see how I'm training for the Miss USA stage. Also, as a health nut, I still love ice cream love ice cream shameless plug for halo top if you haven't tried it do yourself a favor my favorite flavors are peanut butter cup there's actual swirls of peanut butter in there delicious and cookie dough so good and you don't even have to feel bad about it you can sit down and eat the whole pint and it's not even cheating Super random fact about me, growing up through elementary school and junior high, people used to tell me that I wasn't American because I don't like french fries. I, truth be told, I've just never liked potatoes and as a little girl, my mom never made me eat them because they're not that good for you. So I don't eat potatoes to this day, which includes hash browns and yes, french fries. Thank you all so much for spending all this time just getting to know a little bit more about me. I hope that you continue to follow me on this journey to Miss USA. I truly am hoping to be the first Miss Nebraska USA to win Miss USA. Let's go do this, y'all. And thank you so much for the support up to this point. Bye.